hi welcome back to my channel or if you are new then welcome my name is sophie payne i do all things plus size and a shitload of asos hauls and if you want to stay around on the regs then hit the subscribe button hit the bell all that good jazz so today i'm doing another favorites video i actually did one in august but i seem to have like accumulated quite a lot of things over the last month and i really just want to share them with you so i'm doing all my fave things for the last sort of like month and yeah if you want to see what my fave things are from august september then stay tuned that one was a little bit off key weren't it so first of all i want to address just a couple of things the first is that my makeup might look very awful because it's been on since nine o'clock this morning and it's now 10 o'clock at night um and my jumper has like little bits of toothpaste down it because this jumper is pretty much all I've worn for the last week and I should really, really wash it. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight into it. And the first few items is like a little mini haul actually. Um, and these were actually gifted to me. So I um, have loved Regal Rowers for years and I have got like a few of their pieces. They sell um, <clears throat> some pieces on ASOS and then in summer maybe like june i did the summer hamper with social network solutions and regal rose is one of the brands that you worked with as part of that so they sent me one earring which i've probably shown you before so it's solid silver and basically the front is this um like end of the dagger and then the back's that dagger so then when you put it through it looks like you've got a dagger going through your ear it's a bit of me i absolutely love it and i've been wearing this all the bloody time i was so excited to see regal rose in the gifted hamper and then um the most exciting email i've received all month was regal rose reaching out to see if i wanted to do um like a little mini haul with them um and i was like yes absolutely like there's no better feeling than getting to work with a brand that you absolutely love and regal rose really is that so um they said that they sent me a few pieces gifted and i'm just so excited to show them you because they are incredible okay so the first is a necklace that i've been wearing literally every single day since it was gifted to me and that is this necklace here so it's like a dagger going through a heart and it's on quite a long chain so it falls sort of just in between the boobs and i honestly have worn it all the time all the time um and it's called the Stolen Heart Huge Heart and Dagger Necklace. I got it in silver. It was £24. Um, the quality is incredible. It's a really decent size. It's quite chunky. I feel like it makes a statement. I'm just obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. Also, while we're at it, I just want to show you the packaging. So, it comes in these beautiful black boxes. Um, and then the boxes have got, like, regal rowers on them. And then they come with, like, this black crushed paper. And then it's got little black dried roses in it. I think the packaging is actually incredible. Like, everything is, like, attention to detail. But the second thing I picked these earrings oh my god my mum was like i'm so jealous i really really want them and i was like <laughs> not gonna happen so this is a bit of not bit of a novelty for me because um i just have like the most sensitive skin in the world and so i had my ears pierced when i was like no younger than that maybe like 10 
I don't know, had my ears pierced when I was really young and then dick had over it, started to stretch my ear and then when I got older and was like, don't really want to stretch her anymore, took it out, ended up with an ear that looks a little bit like a vagina. So then when I came to getting married, I wanted to wear like diamond studs. So I had to get my ears re-pierced. So I got that done like two years ago and ever since then my ears have been super sensitive. So you know like cheap earrings that you buy from like Topshop, Primark, River Island, all of that. They just make my ears like really, really irritated. The only thing that like works well is like solid gold, platinum, sterling silver. So Regal Rose do a massive range of solid silver earrings. So I felt like it was a bit of a novelty because normally when I'm like shopping, I can't buy earrings unless they're sterling silver, which 90% of the time they're not. The first pair are these here, which are like little snakes and the stud it's like on the back so it like wraps around the ear they look absolutely incredible so cool i think these would be cool if you had like loads of piercings and you wore them a little bit further up as well i bloody love them and um, they're called the Ephedia mini serpent earrings and um, like i said they're solid silver um and they were £24. Next, I got these ones here and they're like a unicorn horn. So the top bit goes through the front bit of the ear, then they've got the bar and then the back bit goes through the bottom bit. So they almost look like a stretcher like or like something's gone through your ear. I think they look so cool. And these are sold sing singularly singularly um so that means that if you like just want one or you've got like one stretched ear or whatever you can just buy one again solid silver and these are called mythical unicorn silver earring and they were 20 pounds for one and then and then last but potentially my favorite are these ones here oh my god um so these are like a beautiful heart shaped locket with like this beautiful like vintage pattern on them i am absolutely in love with them they're a really decent weight as well i know they might seem slightly more expensive but these are 100 percent like the kind of thing that's going to last forever um so i got two of those and they are called the keeper ornate heart padlock earrings and they were 62 pounds for the pair again solid silver and i know it does seem like it's a little bit more expensive however i can only assure you that it's really really worth it because these are the kind of earrings that are going to last they're not going to tarnish or anything like this and just go just go on the website because i swear to god they have the coolest earrings ever and also i got an email earlier on this week and they said that they've got a 15 percent off discount code for me so i'm going to link that down below if you want anything you can get 15 percent off so excited okay next i'm gonna do makeupy things i think makeupy things then i'll do clothes then i'll do random things yes Okay, so first are a couple of things I got like super recently, but I've used them a few times and I'm already obsessed. So Harry came to stay, Harry Jane came to stay earlier on in the week and um, she was using a few products from e.l.f. I've never had anything from e.l.f. cosmetics before and I can assure you it hasn't let me down. So the first thing I got was this here, which is the e.l.f. Paulis Primer, Paulis Putty Primer, and it's like a really weird texture, um, but it's like quite thick, but like creamy, and it just makes your makeup go on flawless. Like I say, I know I look a little bit rough, however, my foundation is near enough not moved all day, and it's been on over 12 hours, so I'm chuffed with this and um, so i got this and then i also got the elf 16 hour 
Camo Concealer. And this reminds me so much of Shape Tape, but way, way cheaper. It's like got a really big, what's the thing called on the end? You know, like the sponge, it's got a really big, big one of them so like it goes really far really full coverage really happy with that yeah those two elf cosmetics super happy and literally drugstore price like so cheap okay the next two things are slightly more expensive however i haven't really been spending loads of money on makeup recently but i did splurge on two little things and i'm so glad that i did the first is the hula caramel by benefit so i've used hula forever literally since i was like 15 um but this is the caramel version i saw a few people talking about it and honestly it's beautiful it's quite dark um so because i'm quite pale i have to use it quite sparingly however the color is just beautiful like it's not it's not too warm it's like real like bronzy and um, doesn't go muddy goes on really nice goes on just like smooth It's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. And then the next thing, um, so I had Becca Opal highlighter when I went to America like two years ago for my honeymoon. I absolutely loved it. And then when I got right to the end, when I like hit pan in the middle, I dropped it and it shattered and then it was just so difficult to use the last bit. But I literally just adored it it was the most beautiful like champagne -y highlighter ever not like glittery not like you know sometimes highlighters are like thick it just it just literally looked dewy um so i got another becca highlighter because they've launched becca in um super drug so i got a becca highlighter but this time i went a little bit lighter and i got the color moonstone which i think is too lighter than opal um and opal was almost like that goldy color so perfect when i had a tan however now i'm pale I was going to say pale Jane, but it's like plain Jane, isn't it? So now I'm super pale and um, I've wanted something a bit paler. So I got this one. It's beautiful. I've got it on today. And again, last ages. And some things I just think are worth splurging on. And this is definitely one of them. However, don't drop them because they break so easily. Okay, next is a bath bomb. I don't feel like I've included a bath bomb in my favourites forever and I had to stop using them. However, this will always be the bath bomb of Heroes and it's back out because if you didn't know, Halloween is slowly, slowly looming. And um, this is the Lord of Miss Rule bath bomb. I can't even explain the smell. It's literally... Oh just incredible um so it looks like this it's like green and then when it goes in the bath it's got like purple in it as well and it's just oh absolutely beautiful and i brought the perfume and included that in my favorites last month and now the bath bombs out too so i'm gonna have a bath in lord of misrule come out cover myself in lord of misrule perfume and go and carve some pumpkins because this girl should have been a witch Okay, right, next, clothes. Um, the first item, imagine I'm holding it, but I don't have it here, but I'll put a photo or video or whatever, is the wolf t-shirt. Yes, if you don't know, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, if you haven't been around on YouTube for a bit, I brought a wolf t-shirt and when I say it, I do mean the ones you get from the market, like the really nasty ones that you can get the fleeces in. I saw Helen Anderson in, in one and I was just like, you know what, I think they're fucking cool. I think they're really, really cool. So, 
I got one from Amazon and like, I'm not being bougie, but it's like an official wolf t-shirt. Not like a shitty fake wolf t-shirt. It's like, yes, they do like fake versions. This is a proper wolf t-shirt from the mountain. It actually wasn't that cheap. Um, however, I've been wearing it so much. I tie it up, I got it in like a 5XL. So it's like super, super long. I can wear it as a dress or I can tie it up. I love it. I literally, the reason I'm not holding it is because it's in the wash. Because it's pretty much the only thing I wear recently. And I, I don't mind that. Like, I'm not, I'm just not mad at it. Next up is a pair of jeans. I haven't worn jeans in ages. And I was saying the other day, I'm kind of like getting a bit of the autumn dreads. Because I know that it's that time of year again where we're going to have to start wearing jeans. And... I just find them really like it used to be all I wanted to wear and now I just find them like super like restrictive however I brought a pair of jeans and I'm really 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 happy with them they're actually comfortable um so these bad boys here are the contour jeans from FNF at Tesco they were like about £14, I think, and they are the stretchiest, stretchiest jean ever. They're really, really comfortable. They go up to a 24, but would fit a 26, potentially a 28, um, because they are really, really generous. I've got a 24, and I probably could have got away with a 22, and they're just... Oh, gorgeous i got them in this like dark washed blue however they do them in loads of different colors loads of different like washes some are a little bit distressed some are just playing and they're really 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 comfortable next up i got a pair of shoes so adam popped to merry hill a bit dirty pop to mary hill which is our local shopping center the other night and came home with a pair of vans for me however these are the vans comfy cush which means they've got like a really comfy sole on the bottom which is like super super soft and i don't know if you heard me moaning about it in some video however i've been like really struggling with finding some really comfy shoes recently and i found that like converse and normal vans have been like aching my feet a little bit if we walk really far um so these are so 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 comfortable they're actually quite different they don't look different but they are they feel a lot different to normal vans and um, they're a different material as well but these are the absolute dream they're really really comfortable and you wouldn't have thought that just that insole would make much difference however it really 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 does so i got them in this like nude pinky checkerboard and i'm really 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 happy with these and the final item of clothing is actually from TU or Two Two at Sainsbury's. And it is this pleather jacket. I was really, really tempted to invest in a real leather jacket this um, winter. However, I've got to be completely honest. I brought one before, a real leather jacket from River Island. It cost me like... 150 pounds and i uh i just influx like in weight like my weight is always up and down and my size is always up and down and the thing that like the issue with getting a leather jacket is like it's an investment piece isn't it and um i got my last one in an 18 which obviously doesn't fit me anymore and i thought i might as well just sell it because I'm not going to like keep something in the wardrobe for one day that I might, for the one day it might end up fitting me. Um, so I think I'm just going to buy fake leather jackets because I don't think I'll ever be the same size long enough to um, buy one that will fit me forever. So I saw this one and I was like that is like, the perfect, perfect pleather jacket and um, 
it's literally just the perfect biker jacket like i'm so impressed with it i feel like if this was from asus it would have been like 50 plus so it's just got the normal like biker what are these called like lapels are they called lapels i don't know and um, the normal like biker neck because you know some have got that stand-up neck can't get on board with that and then it's got these like um panels of like I want to say ribbon, but that that's not that's not the word. Um, and then it's also got them round the wrist, so it's super like boycery, really really comfortable. I'll get it in a size 24, and I'm honestly absolutely over the moon with it. And I know that this one is gonna do me through the winter. And for 35 pound, I'm I'm on board with that. Next is the random things. This section of the favourites is like my favourite part of the favourites because it's just the most random things that I find that I'm like I just feel like I need to show everybody so are we ready? First up is this trolley <laughs> now if you don't know what this is then one where have you been um but basically this is like Marks and Spencer's did a thing aimed at children may I add called Little Shop and um basically they made mini versions of some of their most popular like food items and you collected them so you spend 20 pound in store and they give you like a little a little one like in a bag like it's literally like collecting pokemon cards like it, it is a bit sad um but you get like a little one in your bag it's really exciting to decide what you get and every time we go to the till they're like hey, are your children collecting the little shops and i'm like yes yes my children are me me i am and then they brought out trolleys like big boxes to store them in um and little baskets to store them in as well. We got a trolley. We also got a basket, but I gave that to my mum. This little trolley. And honestly, I just think it's cute. We keep it on the kitchen window. It makes me really happy. We've only got seven more to collect. I can't believe I'm showing it in my favourites. But, I mean, look. They're like little mini. That one's like codfish fingers. Like, little bottles of orange juice. Look, I swear, I'm literally like, oh, wait, just let me show you the eggs. Let me show you the eggs and then I'll show up about it. They're like a proper little egg box. Anyway, I know it's super sad. However, they might be really bloody happy. Oh, out of focus. That's better. Um, however, they make me super, super happy. And yeah. Marks and Spencer's Little Shops. Well done. It's brilliant. And the next few things are from the Disney store. Um, and they brought out like a Halloween range. And it is so cool. I haven't actually got anything out yet. Because I'm, I'm refusing to decorate for Halloween until the 1st of October. Even though Adam just keeps saying that we should do it now um but adam brought me some of the halloween range so this is the hocus pocus mug if you can see that the hocus pocus mug and the um spoon to go with it is a broomstick oh no and then we also got <laughs> this tea light holder which is like the apple and then on the back it says just one bite and then oh my god I literally how cute and then we also got the apple mug which again the coolest thing in the world so they've got like a bit of it in the Disney shop they've also got someone lying they've also done like Halloween clothes and stuff and as you know Halloween is my favourite thing in the world and I just want the next month to be Halloween content so yeah and then other things to mention are um 
tv that i've been loving one is the confession which is like a series in the uk about um an abduction and not an abduction a murder like a murder case that's super super good if you haven't watched it um also me and adam are binge watching downton abbey because we never watched it the first time it came out so we're binge watching it so that we can watch the movie and then the final thing i want to mention is my best friend harry jane has brought out a clothing range with pink clove she announced it on um thursday just gone and pre-sale is out on thursday coming the 20th let me tell you, I don't want to get it wrong. So pre-sale starts this Thursday, which is the 26th, and it actually goes for sale um, completely on the 27th, which is Friday. And let me tell you, I don't know if I am allowed to tell you. Um, I've seen a little sneak peek, and the clothes are actually incredible. They're so like autumnal and just like oh proper transition pieces it's beautiful i'm so proud of harry i'm so happy that pink clover are working with her and i just really want to tell you all about it in case you haven't heard about it i'll link it down below i'll link how you can sign up for pre-sale and yeah i'm so happy for her so i just wanted to tell you about that and yeah i think that's it that is my faves for the last month or so and oh i just love doing five videos just love having a little chat um so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video which will no doubt be a haul probably from asos because there we go thank you i love you i love you i love you see you soon <laughs>